Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, dear brothers and sisters. This is your brother, Omar Sulaiman. You know, when the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, received his first revelation, he was concerned. He didn't understand whether this was something that was coming from God or whether this was something that was coming from, from uh, some other source or whether this was something that was some supernatural experience. And he was concerned. And it was at that moment that he truly needed a form of reassurance. And he knew the right person to go to because he ran to his wife, Khadija, may God be pleased with her. And he said to her the famous words, Zamiruni, Zamiruni, Dathiruni, Dathiruni, cover me up, embrace me, cover me up, embrace me. And before that incident took place where the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, received the, the first revelation from God, his wife Aisha, peace be upon her, may Allah be pleased with her, says that he developed a love for being alone. He developed a love for seclusion. So he used to go to the cave of Hira and he used to meditate and contemplate uh, for weeks and sometimes months, uh, trying to find peace, trying to find answers, trying to find that connection with God. And then finally when the revelation came to him, it was so powerful that he truly did not know how to handle it. Then came Khadija, may God be pleased with her, the wife of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, who was there to reassure him. Now the words that Khadija said to the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him were that, Wallahi la yukhzik Allahu abada, which means God will never disgrace you. God will never disgrace you. Now she then proceeds to give the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him the reasons why God would never disgrace him. And I want you to think about this for a moment. When, when you think about religion, when you think about worship, and when you think of the effects of worship, why would God not disgrace you? She didn't say to him, it's because you've been praying and meditating for months and months and months and months. It's because you go stay in a mountain for all of these weeks and you, you isolate yourself and seclude yourself from the world. She said, God would never disgrace you because you uphold the ties of kinship because you are generous to the needy, because you, you, you take care of the poor and the orphan. So she started to mention some of his good to society, his character, peace be upon him. And in essence, this was the call of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when he says that I was only sent to perfect good character. And in truth, his call to Islam, his call to God started before even he realized that his call to God was starting as one of the famous Imams and Muzaini, may God be pleased with him, said that his, his da'wah, his call started with good manners before he even realized that his call started. It was, with the, it was with that love that he showed to people, the nicknames that he gained as a sadiq al-ameen, the trustworthy, the honest, the one who was beloved, the one who could always reconcile between people, the one who would always go out of his way to take care of the orphan. And so it was only befitting now that he found a woman of good faith and good character that truly understood that and truly had that insight and could come to him from that direction and could say to him, O oh, Prophet of God, God is not disgracing you. This is God honoring you. This is God giving you virtue. This is God elevating your status because of all of the people that you have been elevating your entire life. And so with that, I just wanted to focus for a moment. You know, they always say uh, behind every great man is a great woman. But in Islam, besides every great man is a great woman. We found that Khadija, may God be pleased with her, stood with the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in his hardest times. And so he never would forget her. It was even in the time when, when, you know, they left a life of comfort in essence because she was a successful businesswoman. Even whenever they were forced to abandon that comfort and were all of a sudden placed under economic boycott, which would eventually result in the death of Khadija, may God be pleased with her because she was forced to eat only leaves. Even with that, she never complained to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. She never said to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, what is this mess that you've got, gotten us into? She only spoke words of encouragement and reassurance. And so we need to learn that as individuals sometimes with our husbands and with our wives and with our parents and with our children, with our brothers and our sisters, we have to come to this this beautiful character of being able to reassure one another, to pick each other up, to beautify one another. And especially with the husband and the wife, as we see with the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and with Khadija, peace, uh, may God's blessings be upon her, that uh, God says in the Quran, Hunna libasun lakum wa antum libasun lahun, that she is a garment for you and you are a garment for her. And in essence, a garment covers up a flaw and it beautifies that person's weakness. And we see here that completing, 
that even the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him needed that reassurance and God blessed him with a woman like Khadija peace be upon her to stand by her husband and to truly be the, the first believer in her husband, in the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and to reassure him because of your character God will never put you down. So we ask God to give us that same exalted character. Uh, please do continue to watch and continue to support this effort to learn more about our Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Jazakumullah khairan wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.